to be nominated for the Prudential Eye Awards, for me, I guess, meant it, it sort of, um, I think is a really important thing for Australians to be very much uh, a part of the culture of Southeast Asia. We fit so neatly into Southeast Asia. And as an artist, I always think it's really important to look at that, that our geographical location, not only are we remote, we're very remote from Europe, but we're right smack bang in the middle of Southeast Asia. Um, so I guess it's just about enriching that, that, that cross um, cultural thing and often that cross cultural barrier that we have of trying to define ourselves as, as Australians, but really with European ancestry, but smack bang in the middle of Southeast Asia. So I think it's a really interesting prize to be involved with um, and very important for, for us artists in Australia to be involved with. The way I work, I, I, I play around with lots of different things. I think most contemporary artists these days do, but I always come back to paint. For me, it's the most immediate, um, sort of visceral way of making a mark um, without needing to rely on te any technology, I basically just need an implement and pigment and a surface and I can make, make a mark and, and make a statement. So I always come back to paint. So my work's very much in that sense is autobiographical and about masculinity. The big paintings are very much about forcing them to assess their own place in the history of, of that work. So they're often big raw sharks and, and the act of, a, of making a raw shark demands that, that there's an audience that, that interacts with that painting. Whereas the small paintings are almost all live sittings with my family and my closest friends. So my children, my mum and my dad, my wife, um, and I get them to sit and, and in a way those little paintings are a recording of, of a piece of time spent between two people who know each other very well.